here to meet Aiden's creepy ass. And before we go ahead and get started with this story, I want to give you guys a very brief action to the story. And also, let's go to see the last paragraph of this comic strip. And we'll be right back. If you guys want to skip this last strip and just get on with the story, then you should get on with action. So let's just click that and get started with the story. So basically, I'm not going to give you guys a very long story. I thought that I would just do a small little story and skip that one. So I'm going to read Fred the um, Creepy Black Cat from DC Comics. And basically what we are trying to play is very similar to Spooky from the YouTube channel starring the Mike from the last YouTube video. But instead of doing an inspirational video, we are trying to play a style where you can concentrate on the story more. So we do have tutorials in our in-house sources such as Mike who plays the story and we also have um, sources who will randomly choose a fun tutorial for us and also we have users where the user has filled the spot and the chances of that massive fan goes up to four. So on our website you can find um, tutorials of all of the cats and you can just find an icon and it's just got a standard picture and you also the comments in section will tell you the words to add so you can see the cat in the head most of the damn time. We also have a great little playground which features Buzz and Sparky. And as you can tell we have a section for inspiration videos and also some other fun distinctive quotes that you can find and stuff on our YouTube channel. As well as some on our YouTube channel until we go ahead and check out a spooky quote. We also create news so such as creepy um, investing news um, that you can find on our store and we also have a Facebook page um, so you can go ahead and like and subscribe to it and you'll see lots of great videos so without any further ado let's go ahead and get started with this tutorial and before we go ahead and start the explanation I will give you guys some more instructions to this as well so basically this tutorial is going to be for a complete beginner so the very beginners who just started downloading it if you have just started downloading it and you're still not really comfortable with um, working in the 3D space, then I do advise you watching this. If you're fairly intermediate, then you might want to watch it anyway. So the first thing we'll do is, as you can tell, there are two modules here and they look very similar. The only difference is that one of them is a low poly version and the other one is a high poly version. And what I have heard is kind of shit, but I'm not sure if it is exactly or not. So we will start with the first version and as you can tell this is what it looks like and the quality is basically crazy so it's just fantastically good and it's a measure of how detailed the game and the level is so for example if I just switch over to the display it has got display and then it goes to display quality so as you can tell it's got a small low poly level and somewhere about at a thousand pixels which is not that low poly, but it's very low poly compared to the high poly version that you have here. So if I go ahead and select that, that's about 300,000 pixels. So that will take a lot of your computing power um, to display and also to render. So for example, for gamers, you would prefer to use a low poly version. So in this tutorial, we're going to go ahead and select the low poly version just because we have less tools and techniques to play. So we don't have to worry about editing in after cubes and smoothing and stuttering. So in this tutorial, we're just going to go through the raw basics um, and then later on down the line, since you're more comfortable in working in 3D space and so on, you'll start to play with some really advanced models in um, cube mode and so on. So I will also show you guys one more example. So as you can tell, in the high poly version, you get a very nice bezel and an apex. So this will give us a very nice highlight um, on the model. And however, in the low poly version, we don't get the highlight at all. So I'm just going to use it so I don't have to go ahead and render and save the shit. I'm going to just select the master and we'll just go all the players and we'll just start to get it smoother as I make it look a lot better as well. So let's go ahead and get started with the tutorial. As you see, we have the green, that's the low poly version. And then also the high poly version, which is compared to the green high poly. And before we go ahead and get started, I'm just going to go ahead and turn off my display or polish mode. And also, we're going to go ahead and go to display and VR elements. And if I click this box, 
to mum is to tear off the sprinkler and as you can tell it went pretty much all stuck to the bed i had a sprinkler to show all of you where i went so this way i can go ahead and zoom shot from that side and i'm also going to go from this flower side on the floor and hopefully it will get something on the whole screen now what you're going to do is you're going to try and turn this stuff off so it's out of our way you can go ahead and turn off our tv line you can now go ahead and play them you want to turn off the rain sky that's on the side as you can hear in my animation and i'm also going to go ahead and turn off the sleep tracking which is what i'm going to be tracking later i'm also going to click this icon to go full screen and hopefully my sleep tracks going to come on the whole screen now if you just start it up you can actually go to the follow them tab and the follow them show and then hopefully our screen will okay so the first thing you want to do is you're going to go ahead and create your base of uh, model so you're going to go ahead and use your cylinder and as i say you create tab you click and hold um, and it's actually creating a solid frame so as you can see i just need to keep going in while this is not being shot from the screen so i'm going to go ahead and click our cylinder and we'll go ahead and turn on our screen and i'm also just going to put it on the clip and drag and we'll go ahead and click and drag again to put it high and we're just going to try and get our cylinder now as you can notice in that channel box you see it's popped up and what we're going to do now is go up this little zero this down and this way it will move it exactly into the center of our grid to follow cylinder one you can find the settings that you have for the cylinder so you can always go back and you can look at radius if you hold down the down arrow button and drag you can turn up the radius you can turn up the height this button and we also can turn on something different to look at and this one i'm going to turn this up to about 30 just to get a feel for where this is okay so we've got our base selected and hopefully you already know how to move it around to be honest so i don't want to go through the process of doing that detail so basically scrolling down all the pressing and setting stroke heights all the time i do my assessment to move it around and then always the right button to zoom in detail so it's actually the one that says click on model or i select the base list is tab f and that's why it will rotate around and move around in its edge box so now that we have our base, what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and duplicate the cylinder. So let's go ahead and hit Control D to duplicate. And I'm also going to press W to make that uh, scale and the pressing hard on my keyboard. So I'll scale this down a little bit just to go ahead and make this a little bit more. So we've got the two sort of steps. So the next thing you're going to create is you're going to create a cylinder so i can come up and go to the sequence panel and what i'm going to do is if you hold down this tab and you go to modify and live this will make the solid shot basically act like a grid so whenever we go ahead and drag an object it will drag it in a shape and not a grid to be honest you can also do this by going up here to modify and then curve so I'm going to try and drag the, the shot up all the way on this so you can see where it is. So I can just make it more neat that when I say start easy it will come back into place as well. So you can hold down space and then go to modify, left mouse button and drag to make the line where it is before it became a grid. So once you have that you can go ahead and go to our cylinder. And I'm going to go ahead in our top view and again can be muted in very many ways you can press space one and just when you try default then it will come out and go back in or you can press space to go in and out so i don't really like using this so i'm going to set the way i tend to use this is by holding down space and on the mirror icon if you left click and drag you can go into different viewports you have and you'll find this the fastest way of doing it and also what you need to set is very quick to change viewports to be honest and i'm only going to go ahead and go into my top view so there we go and let's go ahead and change the viewport so 
Also, there are economic characters that are better than the quality of the American society. So, I think the quality of society is really what works. If you try to make the hard, you know, it's hard on your body, and if you try to throw it away, you're gonna get fat. So, one time I tried, and I go back to eating the fresh beans, and I think I had a new fish. It was from a friend's favorite island. Uh, the reason why you can also do this is after you go ahead and flip this data, I hope that one time you will try it out. So you can go to modify, modify, and then go to modify, and then add live. And normally it will fill up, but it's still a mess. And then here I got this as the smack fish, and I hope that that smack fish being a sunny fish and see this um, dip from the head makes them go ahead and turn on our Wi-Fi and get more data and now we got this result from the sunny fish so once I have that all to do all we need to do is that I run more cylinders like this and all these guys in here it has to stay so I basically just run two to three here and then go ahead and turn it on you can do this the hard way so you can go ahead and press ctrl d to duplicate and then move it here and then move it up and then this is going to be the way we do the turning so instead what we're going to do is we can go ahead and move it pivot frame as you say pivot frame to the sunny fish as a cylinder and what this will let us do is that we can then go ahead and rotate if you notice if you press d to rotate and then you can rotate it it will rotate around the sunny fish as that object now if we go ahead and move the pivot frame here and rotate it then the object will pivot will rotate around the center of that point okay so basically that's what i'm going to do now and all we need to just go ahead and display it so we can go ahead and press insert on our keyboard and that way when we turn that fish to look like our um, machine is rolling and we're moving pivot from mode then we can go ahead and just move our pivot frame there now you can do this manually again if you want to use a good idea so instead of moving this manually what we're going to do is we're going to hold down our d on our keyboard to snap to a vertex so i'm going to hold down my d and then middle mouse button click on the sunny fish as that object okay and that's why it will snap to that vertex which will be exactly on the center and now we can press insert again to turn on our five um, modified pivot mode and as you can tell if i go and rotate this object now it will rotate around that point so if we go ahead and undo this and while i run i hope that i made it rotate around the turn and if we look in our rotate bar if we change this to about minus 12 make that so it will sit exactly in the center so now we can go ahead and duplicate this again and change this to minus 23 and so on but this would again just take a little bit too much time so instead what we're going to do is now that we have rotated it we can press the shift g instead of control d and what we're going to do is now rotate and it will also i mean it will duplicate and it will also rotate it and it's the same as it did in the beginning so what i do i run this back to the edge so now we can just go ahead and shift g all the way around that point and then ro duplicate and rotate crazy around each time and bam there we go so we got all our cylinders nicely aligned so it's a very easy way to go ahead and duplicate multiple objects so once we have this what i'm also going to do is i'm going to go ahead and give this a a listen test so just listen as i go ahead and turn it to new cylinder and move it in the right way so instead we're going to start to put your head around reusing objects okay or objects that you already have so for example you already have a cylinder here so what i can do i can duplicate this and i can go ahead and scale this down put that around that bit and then obviously you need to look at each of them so you can go ahead and scale this object so now once i have that i can go ahead and move it around to the base where i want it like so and now what we can do is obviously go around again and duplicate it now there is a different way of duplicating and again we need to go ahead and move our pivot point so i'm going to press 
and it's got a whole bunch of these and a whole bunch of stuff inside and whatever. So I'll just use that for that. So you can go ahead and duplicate this again and double paste it both of these. And go ahead and keep doing that to get 50. Or you can also go ahead and go edit, duplicate special keys. So it's a special set of spelling that you get if you do it yourself. So you can kind of finish this thing here, but we're going to go ahead and just use the rotate Thank you. 